What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I am back with a brand new video. So, I was initially going to review, not review, rank every Star Wars film made, but I was been re-watching them to put them in order and I just can't rank them. So I know which movies are my favourites but I just can't decide and I can't just put one film at the bottom of the list because every film has at least something I like and obviously some of them have something I dislike but there's always something good I can see in a Star Wars film and I just love them all that I can watch it even the ones which I really don't like. I, like I've complained about The Last Jedi a lot but because of the rise of Skywalker, there are certain aspects mostly to do with Luke and Rey and Kylo, which I kind of like. Yeah, I have my problems with the rise of Skywalker as well. It wasn't one of my favorite films of 2019. And well, you saw my review of it. If you haven't, it's up in the corner here or something. But I just can't rank and put one of these movies at the bottom of the list because I like them all so much. I've decided for now at least instead of ranking every Star Wars film I'm gonna list one good thing and one bad thing or one thing I didn't like as much in every Star Wars film. So let's get to it. Starting off with The Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace, one thing I like about this movie is the action. I love the battles with the Gungans. I love the battle, obviously, Duel of the Fates. I love the pod race scene. The space battle is not amazing, but it's not bad when I'm bored by it. One thing I don't like in this movie, I would say, is the first 20 minutes or so. It Until the characters get to Tatooine, it just feels like it's a very messy or very get to this, get to this, get to this, a little rushed, the film. But once you get to Tatooine and everything slows down, you get these character moments. It's a good film. Moving on to Attack of the Clones, episode two of the Skywalker Saga. In this movie, one thing I like about it is the pacing of the whole film. So now George Lucas wrote this movie and sure the dialogue is a little cringeworthy with the romance scene, but it's not as cringeworthy as I remember it being back as a kid. And seeing as he brought a second writer to help write the script for it, it just seems like this film is better structured overall than The Phantom Menace. I found myself engaged in it earlier on compared to The Phantom Menace with a slow 20-30 minutes or whatever it was. But the one thing I don't like about this film is the action. I really... it's not that I don't hate... Oh, it's not that I hate the action in this movie, but Anakin using two lightsabers was really cool and I remember seeing that as a kid and I was like, wow! But it's only for like 5 seconds that he really does it. And it'd be cool if there'd be something more. Yoda using the lightsaber is really cool to see. And it really goes to show that he's changed a lot from the time of the Jedi being in power to the Empire Strikes Back. But there's just that lack of, lack of tension, that lack of energy and the lack of imagination which was there in Duel of the Fates. So Revenge of the Sith is one of my favourite Star Wars films. This is one I was never going to put towards the bottom of the list. but. I'm still going to do something I like and didn't like about it. So one thing I think the film suffers from is that after watching The Clone Wars, this film really feels like it could have been a better series with so many different episodes dedicated to what's going on and then building up to a crescendo at the end. But that's not to say that the film's plot and structure and pacing is bad. It just feels like I can notice points where I'm like, wow, this would be good with another 20 minutes or 30 minutes added on or something. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because the film is very well paced and probably better than the last two in my opinion. Nonetheless, what I like about this film is the way that it brings everything together. The ending battles, just the way characters go about everything. People complaining about Padme's death, I will save that for another video because I have a lot to say about that in a good way. Before I carry on with the rest of the films, I'm just going to say this isn't the only thing I dislike or the only thing I like about each of these films. There are a lot more I like about these films than just what I'm listing, just so you all know. But moving on, we have A New Hope, the original Star Wars movie, and I said that really weirdly, I just realized, but nonetheless, what I don't like about this movie is... Uh, I 
I don't know what I I, do, I don't like about this film really. I don't know. I guess there's that one point where Princess Leia goes out of accent, her accent. I can't remember if she does that more than once, but I like this film. So that's that. The Empire Strikes Back. Um, one thing I don't like about this film, and I don't think I'll ever really get into, is when the later Vader and Luke battle is happening. When Vader uses the Force, and Luke is trying to bat it away, it just looks. It's just so hard to watch, just because it's so clunky and him swinging wildly. It just it's something about it just feels very off to me. Yeah, I know. Obviously, Luke is untrained, but I feel like if it was done nowadays, it would have been shot better. I think it's just the limitations of what they had back then, in my opinion. But one thing I do like about this film, well, I would say is the... everything surrounding Yoda and Luke. I think Obi-Wan did a great job at introducing Luke to the Force, and Yoda really expands on it, and it really goes to show how far, or how much Yoda has changed from the prequels. Finally, the sixth episode in the Skywalker Saga, Return of the Jedi, my favorite moment is the ending as a whole. I think it sums up the first six parts of the Skywalker Saga in a really good and satisfying way. What I don't like about it is the opening Jabba scene, the whole plot there, is a little messy and I feel like could have been better executed or they could have done something else or in a different way at least. They had to do that, I guess, to save Han, but it could have been a little better that opening. Now we get to the sequel trilogy. We have The Force Awakens, and in this film what I really like is the um, confrontation between General Hux and Kylo Ren. It's really good to see that. It's very different to Tarkin and Vader, which obviously a lot of people compare them to. And seeing how the movie itself pays homage to a lot of um, aspects of A New Hope and the original trilogy, this was a good um, change to see. One thing I don't like is how much this movie banks on that fan service, on the fact that it's like a soft reboot and basically a retelling of the same story we've already seen before. The one thing that goes in this favor is that it can tell the story differently in the final two episodes, but we will get to that right now. The one thing I don't like in Star Wars The Last Jedi uh, is clearly the humor. I think the humor is probably the thing I hate the most. It's just so off. It works at some points, but Luke throwing the lightsaber, it feels more like it's meant to be humorous than for his character because there's a better way to go about him throwing it than doing it that way. Finn is just a punching bag now for like, jokes and whatnot. Um, the whole your mama joke at the start is just, it's just really bad. What I do like about this film is the relationship between Kylo and Rey. I didn't see it as one of romance in this movie, but I still enjoyed it in this movie. And finally, for the Skywalker saga, we have the rise of Skywalker. And the one thing I liked about this film was that Rey is training, Rey has been showing progress, and it was with Leia, which was very interesting to see. While I don't think Leia's death was well handled, I do like the relationship they have. But the one thing I don't like about this film is that it really just ends the same way, or at least in a similar way, that The Return of the Jedi ended, and it doesn't really bring a reason for why this trilogy happened, because this trilogy ends the similar way, but why can't some event happen 30 years just the way The Force Awakens did after The Return of the Jedi, and just put everything back into chaos the same way it happened before in The Force Awakens. Like I said, these aren't the only things I hate and dislike from these movies. Hate and love from these movies, sorry. But we have two more to go. Solo, a Star Wars story. One thing I like about this movie is how it is shot. It's very dark, but at the same time, I think the lighting is really nice. I also like Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo. Hate me if you want, I like it. But one thing I don't like about this movie is the writing. The jokes fall short so often. But at the same time, it's just a checklist for Han Solo, which I really don't like. And after that, we have Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And one thing I like about this movie is that final third. Yes, there's that Vader scene as well, which is so good and one of my favorite Star Wars moments. But one thing I don't like about this film is really the second, first and second half of this, first and second half, 
first and second third of this movie. You don't care for the characters, they have really little to no traits and I just can't really relate, not relate to them, but connect with them. The one I care most of is K2SO and Chirrut. So two out of what, five characters I actually care for. I like them all, but it's just really hard for me to connect with them because the first two thirds of this movie are so rushed and messy and ugh. So that was a pretty long video just giving one thing I liked and one thing I didn't like from every Star Wars movie because I can't rank them. So hopefully by the time The Rise of Skywalker comes out on DVD, I can watch all the movies again and again and again I can, and I can finally rank them. It's been so difficult watching these movies and just being like, wow, I really can't do this. So yeah, I've got to stop there. But nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you have. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite Star Wars film is. And until next time, I'll see yous.